Okay, hello, video gamers. I'm gonna, okay, it is, okay, it is working. I'm just paranoid because I don't want to accidentally screw this up. So this is another developer commentary, just like the Luscious Gardens one. Um, pretty much, I'm just going to talk about sauce things about the Star Savior project. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go. Actually. Before we do that, I turned off the music because there's a lot of copyrighted stuff. So, yeah. So, there's no audio. All you're going to hear is my luscious voice. So, I hope you like ASMR. So, uh, originally there was no, um, there was no main menu. And actually, this uh, hub was completely different. It looked a lot more like the original F1 hub so if you get the original af1 pub ported it to obby creator and made it look a little bit worse and you pretty much have what it looked like um some things uh are still gonna get changed like this isn't perfect I'm probably gonna make this look better it's kind of temporary this looks kind of garbage but it does its job so um if you play this and it looks different, that will most likely happen. So, back to this. There was originally no um, menu, and now we just click. So, I know no, no one can hear this because it's copyrighted. It actually plays Minecraft cave sounds, because I wanted this part to feel kind of eerie and off-putting. So, I put Minecraft cave sounds. Will I probably change it? Yes. But for right now, no. So we got, uh, <laughs> there's normally music here. So we got the Shattered Worlds. That, that, that still doesn't work. I, I tried to fix it. I, that just doesn't ever work. So pretty much go in here. That's, uh, I will go in there later when we enter the first world. But for right now, I won't. So this is the developer graveyard. So this is pretty much just a little spot where um, people that were working on worlds um, quit. So I have two people quit. Um, if you go to Leo's, I don't know if I'm pretty sure he changed his plot. I asked him not to, but I'm pretty sure he did. So if you like load it up and it's not AF1 at all, then that's why. And I'm probably going to check after this video. So if you play this and this gravestone, this gravestone's not here then you know why. So we go in here, funny dialogue. This is pretty much just an area where you could just look to how to join the Discord uh, collab where we're making the uh, game. If you want to join the collab, uh, I will put the links in the description or hopefully a info card in the corner. If I remember, hopefully I do. So that's pretty much that. Um, read all the rules and stuff about the one two join, etc. Don't be a poopy head. So here, so if you go into any of these rooms, uh, you go hit, you go here, and then I'll just say obby creator. This is temporary for right now. The reason why there's no, it's not really finished yet, is because that world isn't released yet. So if you go into any of the rooms that's not two or one right now you're not really going to get much. So, right now, there's not really much of a point going in there. So, look around. Yeah. Let me have... I have some developer notes, so let me read some. So, this is a... This is an AF1 remake. I thought that was pretty obvious. I did say that earlier. Um, there is no um, release dates for two prefer part two and three because some of the worlds are very work in progress right now so i don't want to put a date that i know i can't make pretty much i don't want to call the shots too early and then not be able to make the deadline so pretty much that's why there's not really a date um friggin so lore um the lore is not I changed the lore from the original AF1. I'm not going to spoil it because 
I think it's I think it's interesting and I want people to play it for themselves. But I will tell you this. If so pay attention to something nobody really pays attention to, but you have to see. And that's like that I know that's really cryptic, but if you pay if you notice it, then good job. It's a pretty big hint, but good job. You got ten brownie points for you, mister. So now to go into the first room. So now type this and like so or four. Okay. Bingling. So now here's the world. This is the poster. Fun fact about this poster, this is actually not one image. This is actually two images just put together really closely. I think if you get to a certain angle, you could actually see where it like, kind of glitches a little bit. I can't find it, but it is two images. Trust me, it's two images. And for some reason, the full image of this isn't, like it just doesn't, it's not allowed. And I will, once, and once I point this out, about the poster, you can never unsee it. Right here, near the star, that's my cursor. I couldn't find a way to take it out of the image, and I'm probably gonna remake this poster, but once, <laughs> now you can never unsee that co uh, cursor from the image. So you're welcome for burning your eye <laughs> retinas forever. So uh, this little talking segment, uh, so this is pretty much uh, the guy, a person, <laughs> that was kind of on the nose, and the idea when I made that text, that, the black room with the, all the red text, I wanted to make it kind of feel overwhelming, and you'll feel like, oh, I'll, I'll forget, and then you forget about it, and then you play the funny, uh, Roblox jump platform game, and I did that on purpose, and I know people are gonna feel like that, and etc. So... I'm not going to explain too much why. Well, I did explain why, but there's kind of a reason. This part's kind of ligma. Kind of, I want that changed. I'm going to ask AA to fix, to change that. So, this part, this whole obby, uh, Whispering Woods, is made within a thousand parts. I'm impressed. Like, this is completely made within a thousand parts. Now, I know some of you snobby obbycritters are like, Oh, well, that shows it's made in a thousand parts. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't see you making a freaking collab with a bunch of people, so shut up. So, I know some of you are out there. And, meh. So, this is kind of buggy. I made this menu here. Because I want people to be able to tell, like, how much progress they're making. And it's not really fun when you don't know what, like, what you're doing wrong. And there's no indicator of, like, what you need. So that's why I made this little menu here. And I think it turned out well. So, yeah. Uh, here's a little gamer cheat. So if you go here, uh, here's a little funny. If you go into this ominous room... There's a little developer room. Oh, look, it's all the gamers. And he's playing Robeats. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, there's a little of that. So, if we go... Actually, no, there's a coin up here. I need this. So, go here, 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 here. Then, coin. Then, go up here. And here, here, here. I should have added a here counter, but I won't because I hate editing. So now, freaking boom, 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 boom. Time to go to the other red coin. There is a little Easter egg that I uh, that um AA added. Why did I, I don't need to push that box. That AA added. I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, it's a little funny pop culture reference from a hit indie game. So, what? I I never noticed that before. That That's one of those, once I see it, I can never unsee it moments right there. Oh, what? Didn't flip me. Kringle. So now I just push this. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do. I'm pretty sure all these corners have tiny invisible wedges. So, I'm pretty sure AA added that. Uh, I, whenever I do something like that, I always call it idiot proofing. Because you have to be kind of a moron to actually do that. <laughs> Put the corner in the box and then you can't take it out. So now you should, yep. So this is the ending box. Be like, oh, you're not, you're not the blah, blah, blah. You read it for yourself. So I'll let you guys put the pieces together. And this is the ending box. I am going to load the, like, I am going to show the room for my world. Kind of like, oh, I'm playing the game. Actually, I'll show the world info room. So you actually don't have to go through the clicking. You could actually just walk. You could actually just walk in here through a bank, but you wouldn't be able to because you have to go. You have to click start to do that first. So this is pretty much. If you recognize these avatars, then good for you. Uh, you could go witch hunting for their slots if you want to. I will not help you, but if you find it good for you, I know some of you gamers. We'll go f witch hunting for them. And, meh. Actually, you don't have to witch hunt. If you join the Discord server, you could go to the World Infos tab and see their plot. So, you know, that's another reason to join the Discord server. So, I'm just saying. Just a little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get, get my drift, huh? So, go here. Oh, now that works. See, now that works. It never freaking never freaking decides if it wants to work or not. That's cringe. Okay, now to the room. Oh, uh, another thing I want to point out is if you notice when you walk in here, there is no code system. Now, if you played the hit Hobby Creator collab, Shattered Worlds, then you know that there are uh, codes before each uh, door. Um, I know Max wanted that because he was like, you know, I want people to play through the whole game. And I get that. But I didn't want to add that because I feel like if you leave, I'll be like, oh, like, what's the code, man? What's the code? And then you have to reset from the start. That's cringe. Like, if you forget the code, there's no way to, like, re-remember the code. You have to replay the level. So, I just made it. So, you just walk in. I don't really think it's that big of a deal if someone skips an obby or not. It's kind of, in my eyes, it's just like, well, you skipped content. And that's kind of your fault there. And I guess you could say cheese and, like, whole debater. Debater. Uh, like, it's a whole debate, you know. Like, should players be allowed to skip content if they want? <laughs> I forgot I put that there. Oh, that's tagged. I have to fix that later, but that's annoying. So this is the second world. Again, the poster. It's two images, not one. Again, the whole thing, the words. Oh my god, spooky red words. Oh my god. If no one really cares about the lore, that's fine. Because really, I care about mostly about the gameplay. So... Actually, I... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I I thought I didn't add a menu part where you could see your progress. There is. I just didn't notice it. So, right here, it... This is, like, a maze part. And I want to show you this. Now, this doesn't look as hard because I don't have the effect. Now, this originally used to have a part where it was... Act this is actually a dead end. And people will get stuck here all the time and get frustrated. So this used to be way harder. And all this and this part is super simple. Like, extremely simple. Like, how I made it. So there's pretty much this button here. And it... This one button activates all these blocks that makes it look like the torches are turning on. And this also turns a mechanism that makes this turn on well it would make okay so how this would work is this invis will turn on a switch that will turn on this floor that you could walk on 
that's pretty much it. I don't know if some of you gamers understood that. Good for you. And pretty much if you walk in here, that's respawn part. I do kind of, there's kind of a gamer glitch that I don't really know how to fix right now. If you just sit in here and wait out the timer, I can't really do anything. You just have to walk off to the edge in the abyss. So, actually, probably, there's probably a way I could fix that, but I'm not going to deal with that right now, because this is the developer commentary. So, this is what it would normally look like. So, I'm going to do this normally how a normal gamer would do it, and then I'm going to show you a skip for this. Because then you go here, here, and then... Woo, being chilling. Then you wait, 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 boom. So while I'm at this tent part, this guy, Joe, he was like, oh, I want to help with the obby creator, uh, not the obby creator, the star savior project. And I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, he wasn't like super good, but, you know, to be nice, let him build something. And this is his original, this is Joe's, yeah, the original version. And then I remaked it. <laughs> Gamer notification. So, wanted to be nice. This is not their original size, I shrank them down. So, kind of for comparison, I don't think you could see this sign in this world, but I'm, I'm very, very confident that I put it in the hub for the first world there little sign and this is the menu i didn't add coins because i think coins are kind of annoying to collect so i just made them all stars so yeah so that little uh i want to point out i don't really know how to change the, the hologram thing so it doesn't have that little uh like that part the middle part is darker i have an idea a rough idea how to do that but really that's like the bottom the pot like the least of my worries so i don't really care about that um this uh part right here i wanted to add a part i wanted to bring up other smaller creators with me so people that i thought made good obbies that were underrated i wanted to put there a little up here for sponsorship I'm pretty sure Richard is actually featured, and I'm not. That's f kind of funny. It wasn't that make me more underrated than him, but... Well, it's still something I did. I don't oh, I didn't make that. I thought I didn't make that. <laughs> I didn't make that! So... Uh, there we go. Uh, freaking go up here. So, I uh, wanted to point out. So, all of the- most of the gameplay is remade versions of the original a <laughs> yeah let me just point out well some of you might have those i wanted to add a little part since you could zoom out and i really can't control how far you move your camera i thought it'd be funny to add a little funny image around where i can because i know some of you gamers will so i really can't do anything about it and I could, like, oh, I could do this with this crazy button system for, what, to see out of bounds. Doesn't really affect gameplay that much. And, you know, you get a funny image out of it. So, doesn't really, again, like, the least of my worries. So, I'm going to go this way and jump. So, this force field system used to actually do exactly what this says, is you could stand on the sand. But I had to change it so it doesn't, so only select parts work for each orb. And I'm kind of sad, but I had to do that because the system just kept breaking. And um, it's kind of, kind of a bummer, man, but it's just what I had to do. So certain parts you're able to, like, right, if I go right here, I Ooh. should die. Yep. But I know, like, one gamer would be like, what? How did I die from that? I was on the sand with the orb. And I get that. But you would have died anyway. So I don't really mind that much. And you could see it. The outline right there. Again, 
I can't really do much Ooh. about. Okay, that was bullcrap. That was honestly bullcrap. But again, I can't really do much about it. So I'll fix I'll fix things when I can fix things. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm actually John Cena. Actually John Cena. Uh, originally there was this little spinner part here. It actually looks a lot like these spinners from over here, but I just didn't like them. And so I just cut it out, so now you just walk. Uh, I originally wanted to make these rope bridges kind of slink down, like kind of like a weight, like it goes down, kind of like a curve, like, I don't know, like a rope bridge. But I didn't because of time constraints, and I made this rope bridge very late into the world's development. So, again, kind of the least of my worries. Trying to worry about function over fashion, I guess. Uh, rope bridge. Epic rope bridge. Boom! So, um, this part. All it is, is just some push parts that, oh yeah, because of note clip. So all it is, is just some push parts that have some fading parts that kind of make it random. And then it goes in this hole, and then once it hits the bottom, it resets and goes back. And all this is, is this conveyor, oh wait, this is a conveyor. And this has slipperiness on it. That is like... The one thing I used slipperiness for, and if anyone's wondering why the blocks aren't falling, is because I clicked on the conveyor and then they all fell down. Yep. Don't worry, that won't happen when you're playing the game. <laughs> so, uh, for spoilers, this bridge falls down. I think it's pretty obvious, but it falls down. And there is nothing over here. It's just a red herring right here. So, like, oh no, I'm falling. So now we get this little cave part. Now, if someone says, like, oh, this this gameplay wasn't in the original AF1, and I'll say that is half true. I'm going to play this normally. Now, so, just play this normally. Boom. There we go. Look at this. So I wanted a part that was kind of like a puzzle. A very well disguised puzzle. So all this is, is when this goes up, you want to jump your head. And then you would have to wait. Sometimes it doesn't work. And if someone's accusing me of cheating, it's because I have edit. So now I need one more thing. I'm just be doing a little hacking. Need one more star. So, boop. So again, all of the gameplay from the original F1 is very subtly remade in this. And I think it's kind of hard to notice, but I'm fine with that. Um, again, some of these parts don't look that good. Like, this overall looks kind of bad, but again, function over fashion. So, do this. Okay, that's good. So, oh yeah, part count. Uh, I save a lot of parts, and I'm probably gonna, I could add way more stuff into this, but I don't think it needs to. So, oh no, I fell. That was so not obvious. So, here is a little, a part. Actually, I'm gonna let this take me. Ooh. Consume my flesh. So, I'm gonna close the door. Oh no, it's on, my headphones are unplugged, I'm gonna freaking, they're gonna deactivate again. No! Okay, so, what I was originally going to say, 
that I'm just going to edit here. So I wanted a part where you have kind of like a wrap here. But I realized, since this is kind of like a flood escape type part, you could, the, la the lava or well, sand could be coming up. And then the wrap is all the way at the end. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, crap. So then I made that little knob right here. So that doesn't happen. So I have kind of like a wall jump. And I like it. I think it's fun. I wanted to add something that made it look like why the sand is rising up. And I added this. Doesn't really convey it very well. But, again, it works. So here. Let me see. Is that exactly what I'm talking about. What the? Oh, what is it? What did I bump into? What did it? What was the freaking souls of the damned? What was that? What did I bump into? I guess I'll just never know. <laughs> I just go straight into the... But I just freaking... That was weird. Okay, normally this is... I thought this was a pretty easy part. This part... What?! Again, what is that? What? What the hell, dude? What? What? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's this boundary part here. Because I wanted to make sure they don't freaking cheat. Well, I'm glad I noticed that. There you go. There's something new every day. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Ooh. Think ah. This is hard. <laughs> Sometimes it bugs out. Uh I try to make it so the falling part is just slow enough that that won't ever happen and I still haven't got that perfectly. But again, I'm human. I'm not perfect. So, and yeah. And that is World 2. And... Uh, wait, how did... Did I teleport out of the obby? Oh, wait. I think somehow... When I kept dying, my character model somehow flew out of the obby. And it reset everything. I don't know how to fix that. That's not good. Well, uh, let me show you what happens when you complete it. Dark Tomb. Please don't freaking reset me again. Cry. I did. Oh my god. Okay. So, I'll just do the thing. So, pretty much the reason why your feet kind of sink in is because there is a teleporter that activates when you collect all of them. So let me activate the system. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the system that makes the sand go up. That's the bridge, and that is the system for the freaking maze. And these are the boxes of the spawn and the chat room thing. Okay, boom, boom. There. So, blah, blah, blah. Words. I'm not going to read the words to you, but they're words. And then boom. So for right now, that's the end of Star Savior. So um, I did allude to this earlier of part one, of part two, and part three for release date, because I want to make, I want to remake the whole all of AF1. So, and the reason I I just cut off myself, and the reason I wanted to release. Feral Falls and Whispering Woods is because I'm kind of lacking a lot of people right now. And so far, I have been getting a, like a couple of volunteers a week. And I am kind of strict on who I pick. And I've got a little desperate. And I've kind of made a whoopsie on some things. But freaking cheesecake but i wanted to release the first part because i wanted to get more exposure to 
the project. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, have fun with the link and the obby ID and the link to my profile picture, my pro my Roblox profile, the Discord, and the Roblox group will be in the link description. Uh, yeah. So bye bye gamers.